Madam Web, a fascinating character from the Spider-Man universe, possesses unique precognition abilities which come from the web of life and destiny, aka the Spider-Verse. And with the new Madam Web trailer that just dropped, there's no time like the present to talk about the top 10 alternate versions of Madam Web. My name is AJ with Nerd, but you don't care, so let's just jump right into it. At number 10 is the cinematic Madam Web. Madam Web is about Cassandra Web, a paramedic with a unique power to see into the future after a near unaliving experience. Experience. The trailer hints at her struggle to understand these visions until she sees a dangerous man planning something awful. Even though she's not sure why, she knows she has to stop him. Now, the trailer doesn't really say which universe this story is in, or why the bad guy's outfit looks exactly like Spider-Man's, but it does tease that Cassandra's friends will become different Spider-themed heroes like in the Marvel comics. Now, it's a bit odd because just like with the Venom movies, this one seems packed with Spider-Man stuff, but lacking Spider-Man himself. Still, with the third Spider-Verse movie on the way and big things happening in the MCU, maybe it's not that surprising. But Web hits theaters on February 14th, 2024, and it looks like it's gonna be filled with classic Spider-Man characters, even if Spidey himself isn't swinging by. I love that the Spider-Verse and Spidey villains like Kraven and Venom and Morbius and now Madame Web are getting their own films from Sony, but I just can't help but feel like someone's missing, don't you think? Like, come on, Sony, just give me like a Miles cameo at least. At number nine is Julia Carpenter, the second iteration of Madame Web in 616. Julia Cornwall's life took various turns before becoming Madame Web. Growing up in Los Angeles, she experienced the joy of marriage and motherhood only to face heartbreak when her husband cheated, leading to their divorce. Now, her journey into superhero status was also unconventional. As part of a government experiment, she was unwittingly injected with a blend of spider venom and plant extracts, endowing her with the abilities akin to Spider-Man's powers. She became the Spider-Woman and later got entangled in a pearly escape scheme orchestrated by the Karninoff family where Madame Webb, morally wounded, transferred her extraordinary powers to Julia. This transformed her into the new Madame Webb, despite rendering her blind. Julia, now the weaver of the spider family's destiny, possessed exceptional abilities like precognition and astral projection. Her newfound powers even hinted at possible teleportation, though it's more likely she just projected vivid images to appear elsewhere. Her role expanded beyond foreshadowing alternate futures, guiding heroes, and even preventing catastrophic outcomes. If you're enjoying the video so far, you can support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Top 10 Nerd, and ringing that notification bell. And number eight is Gwen Stacy's Madame Web. Gwen Stacy in this reality is known as Madame Web, but she didn't expect to become a leader in a multiverse filled with spider-themed figures. Her journey began unexpectedly due to a convergence of realities. As someone experienced in navigating different dimensions, Gwen took on the responsibility of welcoming and guiding displaced individuals in this Spider-Verse. However, tragic events unfolded, shattering her initial plans. Spider people, united by their shared trauma, faced a grave threat when they unwittingly brought in symbiotes during their quest for solutions. This sparked a prolonged battle, resulting in significant losses, and amidst the darkness, Gwen Stacy emerged as a beacon of hope, transforming into Madame Web almost overnight. This Madame Web shoulders the responsibility of overseeing the well-being of all the inhabitants, human or otherwise, in this merged reality. Fun fact is that her arsenal also includes a web crossbow concealed as a cane, which is super dope. At number seven is Spider Zero. Spider Zero is a young woman possessing spider-like abilities who traversed the multiverse after her home universe's destruction. Disconnected from any specific reality, she adapted as the master weaver within the web of life and destiny. When the pattern maker vanished and the web faltered, Spider Zero sought Spider-Man's aid to locate Annie and mend the corrupted web. During a mission to rescue Spider-Ling from a tangled node, Spider Zero grappled with the haunting memories of her original reality, and despite the turmoil, she worked with Miles to resolve the crisis, restoring balance to the web. Afterwards, while other spider heroes returned to their respective dimensions, Spider Zero chose to remain within the web. Her journey, defined by transcending realities and safeguarding the web's integrity, exemplifies her commitment to maintaining balance across the multiverse. At number six is the Widow of the Web from Earth. The Widow of the Web is an alternate version of Madame Web, who's steeped in mystical abilities. She possesses a profound sorcery, utilizing it to grant powers to the Web Slayer, imposing a condition that forbids using these abilities for personal gain. Now, following a crucial event where the Web Slinger violated this condition, the Widow of the Web bestowed him with a heavy burden of responsibility, compelling him to become the Guardian of Webwood. Her powers encompass a diverse range of magical abilities, including the capability to bestow powers upon others and generate organic webbing. Although her exact proficiency in magic remains unspecified, her association with mystical practice 
practices hints at a considerable command over these forces. Notably, the Widow of the Web is speculated to share connections with Madame Web or Spider Woman, but the specifics of these connections remain ambiguous and open to interpretation. At number five is Madame Web from Earth 51914. This Madame Web is an obscure character introduced in a 1977 hostess Twinkies ad, which is a vengeful figure fixated on Spider Man. Her obsession stemmed from Spider Man's rejection, prompting her to use her spidery abilities to ensnare New York Harbor, aiming to frame Spider Man. However, her scheme was foiled when Spider-Man offered her hostess Twinkies cakes as a bribe, persuading her to relinquish her plan and clear his name. Notably, this version of Madame Web is distinct from the more recognized Madame Web in the Marvel Universe. This portrayal holds no affiliation with the established characters Madame Web or her subsequent successor, Madame Web. At number four is Spinster. Spinster is a unique totem in the Spider-Verse, using her prehensile hair to produce webbing and perceive vibrations across the webs. As a superhero, she possessed the extraordinary ability to interpret every movement transmitted through her webbing, enabling her to eavesdrop from a great distance. Initially originating as a fan-created character called Spider Sona, Spencer was later featured in Marvel Comics Spider-Verse Volume 3. Marvel reached out to fans to create new Spider Sonas for the Spider-Verse, leading to Spinster's introduction into the Spider-Verse profile in issue number one, and subsequent appearances in issue six alongside other Spider Sonas. The Spinster's inclusion in the Spider-Verse narrative brought her into adventure alongside established characters like Spider-Man and Spider-Zero. At number three is Neith. Neith is a deity in the Marvel Universe who embodies the role of the goddess of spiders. Born to powerful elder goddess Oshter and Gaia, she's the younger sister of Shathra, the wasp goddess. Neith's story involves a celestial task where her sister Shathra was assigned to design a map of the multiverse. While Shathra focused on an intricate design called the Great Nest, Neith crafted her own creation, the Great Web, suggesting a more straightforward approach. Impressed by Neith's innovative design, the goddess acknowledged her creation, showcasing it to other gods and crowning her as the shaper of the multiverse. This success, however, kindled jealousy in Shathra, leading to her transformation into a dark goddess filled with spite and desire for revenge. Neith's character is depicted as playful, preferring relaxation and playfulness over intense work. She advocates for free will, evident in her design of the web of life and destiny, offering humanity the liberty to forge their own paths. Her creation of the spider served as assistance, allowing her to avoid the arduous task of maintaining the web herself. At number two is Edna Brock, aka Madame Venom. In Extreme Veniverse number three, we're introduced to a Madame Brock from Earth 31913, a symbiote variant that's an absolute game changer. She seamlessly blends classic Venom traits with fresh ideas and a touch of Madame Web's mystique, offering a unique take on the character. Now let's take a moment to talk about Web Slinger, a cowboy Spider-Man from the same reality. After a chance encounter in a small town, he befriends Edna Brock, aka Madame Web. Now she's not your average Venom variant. With her whip as her weapon, she embraces the lethal protector ideology, adding a new layer to the character. Madame Web's design is a fusion of Venom's monstrous appearance with a classic western twist with that black veil of hers, making her a visual standout. But the most exciting part, Madame Brock's connection to the web of life and destiny could make her a key player in multiverse level events. This new Venom variant is a breath of fresh air and one of the most intriguing additions to the Marvel Universe. And at number one is Cassandra Webb. That's two Bs, y'all. Respect the second B. Just want to take a moment to give respects to the OG. Cassandra Webb from Salem, Oregon had a unique life. Blind from birth, she faced challenges due to a condition called myasthenia gravis. I totally butchered that. Surprisingly, her blindness led to psychic abilities, turning her into a medium. Later on in a significant event, she engaged in an arcane ritual involving five relics. This ritual granted immense power or dire consequences. These relics, combined in a ritual, bestowed the following powers. Power, knowledge, immortality, insanity, and the state of being unalive. These powers weren't what they seemed at first. What first seemed like madness was in fact knowledge, what seemed like power was madness, and what seemed like being unalive was actually immortality. Cassandra Webb received immortality, but this blessing was actually just a catch-22. You see, while Madame Webb would be immortal, that really just meant that the Madame Webb legacy would continue on through Julia Carpenter, while Cassandra Webb herself is just as mortal as you or I. And that about wraps it up, folks. As always, if there's a Madame Webb from the multiverse that you think I've missed, feel free to let me know down in the comments. This has been AJ Spatola with Top 10 Nerd, and I'll catch you all in another video. Later, nerds.